Hello, my name is Daniel, and this is the second video of the Emacs tutorial. Now, in the previous video, we, I was going to show you how, guys how to install packages, and we're still going to do that, except I need to say something. Now, I created a new account on my computer. That way, I can have a you know a fresh install, a fresh configuration of Emacs. So I just did that. So right now, I just booted up Emacs. I changed the theme, which I showed you guys how to do in the previous video. And basically, you're caught up in what I've been doing. All right, cool. So... Remember how I said about that .emacsd directory and uh, creating it if it's not there? Well, I just created a new account and I'm going to go check if the .emacsd directory is already there. So cd.emacs and it's already there. Sweet. So I don't know if you barely install Emacs, if it creates the .emacsd directory for you. If not, just create it and it, it should be good. Emacs will read in that directory anyway. So yeah. So I'm going to do ls. And auto save list. Uh, I don't know what that directory. That directory, uh, I should say, that directory is not important. So forget it. I'm not sure if it's going to be there when you guys do this. Uh, it depends. Uh, I, I don't know. And maybe it's already there because uh, I already had it installed or whatever. But, anyways, see how there's nothing else. So let's do, let's create the init.l file that I was talking about. So touch the init.l. So once I do that, it creates it, and I do ls to prove it to you guys, and bam. And if I do cat init.l, there's nothing inside of it. All right, cool. So we have a fresh install of Emacs. So, so I'm going to go to that file and config, start in the configuration. So control x, control f, dot emacsd, init.l, and bam. You see? Just like I was saying, there is absolutely nothing. So what I'm going to do is just paste the other stuff from... Um, from what we had in the previous video and just you know evaluate everything control x control e bam so now i have access to the to the malpa uh, packages so let's do meta x list packages and i'm gonna get and it's getting everything all that good stuff yeah good stuff all right cool and what we're gonna do now is i'm basically going to show you guys how to install uh for now alpi which is basically a development uh, uh, environment for playing with uh, play, uh, developing Python. So yeah, that's what I use, and I like it a lot. So yeah, let's install that first. I'll probably show how to install uh, something else, like uh, I don't know, Irony, which is for C, C++ development, or uh, Eclim, which is for Java, or something like that, or depending on whatever the comments says. So yeah. So let's do, so I'm going to search for LPI. So what I'm going to do is control S. So that starts I search. So now I'm going to type in LPI, E-L-P-Y, LPI. And ta-da, I got dragged right there. So now I'm just going to press enter to select that item. And then I'm going to press I. That way I can tell, I can tell Emacs that that's the one that I want to install. So I for install, bam. And you see the little I right there. I. All right, cool. Now that we have it selected, uh, we can press X, but uh, if you press something else by accidentally, like this one, you're like, oh no, I thought the wrong one. Just press U and go up to it and press U. For example, I type both of these install. I said, oh no, so I just press U and then U, and then U again. So yeah, there you go. Just press U if you accidentally uh, highlighted something. All right, cool. So now that we have Alpine installed, I mean highlighted, let's just press X to install it. So X, bam. And then it asks you on the bottom, install LPI and just press uh, yes. And it's going to download everything and then compile it and you'll see a buffer right now. So do we want to save the init that out? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So the buffer did its thing, it compiled and everything, so sweet. So what I'm going to do is just press control X, O to go to the other buffer and press Q to exit it. All right, cool. That's just something I do. There's other ways of doing it, but whatever. All right, I'm gonna exit this buffer as well. So control X, K, bam, enter. All right, cool. Now let's configure LPI. But uh, um, since we just installed LPI, we don't know anything about the configuration. So uh, what I usually do whenever I install a package or I'm, I'm about to install a package, I usually go to Chrome and then uh, I just search for the package. So Emacs LPI. There you go. And then look at that. GitHub. Bam. Click it. 
and I get to the repository, Emacs Python development environment, bam. So I just go down, 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 and then quick installation. First of all, install the following required packages. So pip, rope, flake, all of these. <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is pull up the terminal, and for you guys the same, so do sudo pip, and then I'm gonna do pip3 because that's because I want to use LPy for Python 3 you can also use it for Python 2 but for this video I'm just gonna do Python 3 so because that's what I work on so sudo pip 3 install and then all the other libraries so rope Jedi flake 8 and then import magic now I'm not gonna run this because um, what I found out was that I can use the libraries from the other account that are already installed so that's awesome so I don't need to install those so but for you you need to install those packages if you want the best out of uh, LPy so just go ahead and install it and then just continue following along alright cool so now that we have that it says uh, to evaluate in the buffer but this is just to be able to get LPy so uh, but we already did that we just installed it so no need to do that and then finally add this to your .emacs. So .emacs is another way of saying your init.l. Some people use a .emacs file, but I'm showing you guys how to use the init.l file. So it's basically the same thing, except the .emacs, uh, the .emacs is just in your uh, home directory. It's, it's just a file. It's not inside a directory or anything. But uh, I like using a directory specifically for all the .emacs stuff. So yeah. All right, cool. So I'm just going to grab this line the alpine enable because the package initialize we already did that it, emacs already does that that's how we got to the uh that's how we were able to do the ah oh man i forgot well first off let me just copy this guy bam so we already have the first line so we don't need that so let's go to emacs and then let's paste this alpine enable bam and we evaluate it and it's all there good sweet so remember package initialize is already right there so sweet we don't need to do anything all right what's next is by default lpy uses pi 2 but i want to use pi 3 so how can i configure that well it's easy um so you can either do customize customize right there and it brings you to this little buffer and put lpy and right here gives you a lot of configurations for everything that you want so basically if you want to configure something just press medx customize and then just put lpi and even more right there dang it look at that all right cool so i'm just going to exit all these buffers and pi3 so i'm going to just make this quick and show you guys how to do this if you guys want to use uh, python 3 so set q and i'm going to explain what each command does lpi RPC Python command and it's gonna be Python 3 All right, so this is the set queue is saying hey, I want you to change the value of whatever so it's saying this variable LPI RPC Python command this variable I want you to give a new value of this string which is Python 3 so that's what the set queue does it's basically like the equal sign so so LPI RPC Python equals Python 3 basically that's it's basically an equal sign yeah think of it like that so next up we gotta evaluate it so bam there you go so now it will we'll be able to use python 3 all right cool but the next thing that i do as well is to import the python shell that we can call from umax to also use python 3 so how do we do that we do set q again that means we're changing the value or setting the value of a variable and then the variable that we want to change is python shell interpreter and that one as well as python 3 so now let's evaluate it control x control e oh unbalanced parentheses what the heck did i do unbalanced parentheses oh i put the I got the ending quotes oh my god that's embarrassing all right cool so now if we evaluate it python 3 all right cool Sweet, we have everything we want. So I'm just gonna create a, a file, a file, and let's see. Um, uh, not not in the dot emacs in the desktop, and let's just call it test.py. Sweet. 
So it's a Py file, it's a Python file, and look at the bottom line you see LPy enabled already. Sweet, right there, bam. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do um, I don't know. Import, oh, you see it's already starting to fill up things for me. Import um what can we import? What libraries do I do? Do I have? Uh oh that's do from math import pi I guess is pi a value I don't know is, is that how it works I don't know oh I know what works from operator import add there you go so that should work so now if I do add that um, add so right here you see add a and B so for example if I do 8 and then 8 I should oh it's complaining because look it even does checking for me pep a compliant so space after the comma so bam like that that is beautiful so I can do that also I can set variables so um, I don't know emacs equals 90 and then I can do look at that it's already filling up oh that's beautiful equals uh, I don't know whatever and then also it gives me template for uh, classes so tada look at that awesome it starts filling up stuff so object uh it could be yeah let's see what i can uh documentation as well documentation as well i suck at spelling i'm sorry and args um so args and quargs and also the same thing right here args and quargs sweet so yeah stuff like that helps you out so yeah so oops so yeah hopefully this finds it helpful for you guys now uh, I'll probably show how to do more stuff um, how long is the video 12 minutes well wow, that's a lot so I mean obviously this isn't like a full demo of uh, of LPI this is just like some very basic stuff that you can do with it so there's more stuff that you can do and I'll show you guys uh, a little bit more depending all right sweet thank you